already. So first we start with the pole, which is found in the far back of Julie's closet. There are two poles. One is her travel pole for her feed tube, and the other is the device pole. They look very different. So in this section right here, you just kind of have to line up the pole and it slides right in. So turning it, it'll make sure that it's facing directly towards Julie. And then you know you're good to go. Then you'll go to the second drawer of Julie's side table. And the device will be in there. Her charger cord hangs out of the handle portion. So you unplug it. You just toss it on the ground. Now, for sliding this onto the pole, there's this portion right here that slides into this metal piece. And what you need to do, pull out this button, slide it down, and let it go. I'll usually double check that it's in there. Mm -hmm. The button doesn't always lock. Mm -hmm. So going back in the same drawer, second drawer, you'll find her button, which connects right here. So righty tighty lefty loosey. It will tighten in this hole, slide it in. Usually I'll see how far it is with my hand and ask Julie, is this a good position? And then you tighten it up. And any one of these two holes will work. Yeah, they say A and B, if you look at them close, both A and B work. And so when you plug this in, and you look at Julie's device, Oops. Oops, sorry. <laughs> the red selector will start switching up and down. If it doesn't, means the switch is not working. <laughs> With Good. the extra, we usually just kind of wrap it around here mm -hmm. to keep it out of the way. And it is gonna fall out for me today. <laughs> and that's about it. Alexi's done a really good job of setting this up. So I'm just gonna go over some of the things that might not go well when you're doing that. When you're setting it up, if there's a lot of play in that mount, this is in her tools for the chair in the back of her bag or in one of the drawers, usually in the back of the bag. Inside this bag. And this red one that says Julie, but also says Kaya, is the tool designed for tightening this area, this area, and the very base down here. Again, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. And if you're not completely tight, that's when you get the play. And here, same story. Try not to adjust the height the height is where it's supposed to be. And the same with this distance. Sometimes people are tempted to put it closer to Julie. It doesn't work closer. Mm -hmm. It can't go further away. We're pretty much maxed. And that's if it does end up loosened, that's a good way to remember where it belongs. Okay. It's all the way out. The other thing that might be a problem is if this has loosened off. Like sometimes the, the switch itself gets a loose lid and you just have to tighten it manually with your hand. Mm -hmm. um, if the switch is not working properly and you've tried taking it out and taking it in and you've run your fingers along to make sure there aren't any kinks, then it's time to talk about a new switch and that's something you reach out to Sam or directly to Kaya. Um, it's not like foolproof. It's sometimes you just plug it back in again or take it out and it'll work. So don't give up right away. The other thing that sometimes happens is this will, will freeze when she's trying to use it. If it freezes immediately, usually just holding down the on-off button will do a gentle reset. If it needs more than that, that's something you should be noting to tell one of the more regular staff who work with her. Don Marie and Sam can both troubleshoot a lot of those things. If you have ideas about things that you think aren't working well or it, things like that, please just let them know. The other thing is you can clean this. Like you're in an extended care unit, you feel very strongly about everything being clean. You can use those little rubbing alcohol wipes or directly on the screen, around it, on the switch, on the cord, on the mount. 
There's no harm in using those. They dry quickly, they don't do any harm to the device. So just keeping everything around Julie as safe as the other things that you keep safe. Okay. I think that's it for the troubleshooting. So the language on the device, as you've heard me mention a couple times, is called MinSpeak or Unity. There is a little sheet that explains its layout. Um, it was developed by Bruce Baker because he understands that people at a very young age can associate. He also felt that through life, once you learned those associations, he would never forget them. And he also witnessed that in seniors who were struggling, they still, even though they couldn't do a lot of things, could associate. So he felt it would take people through all the stages of their life, even if they never, like our friend Julie, who did learn to read, even if they never learned to read, they would learn the associations. So he has interesting things. To give you an example, I mean, I could spend hours teaching him speak. But just to give you an idea, when you look at the apple with a bumblebee on it, that's the code for all of the food because it's an apple. It's also the code for the verb to be and the code for buzzing and all of those interesting things. So even if you forgot completely where your food was, you would look at this board and say, there's nothing else that's food on here. It must be in there. He did the same thing with the umbrella, has a thumbs down. <laughs> so, and the, the phone has a thumb up. So good is under the phone, and all the communication is under there. And if we need an umbrella because it's raining, the weather is under the umbrella, so is everything that says down. So it's a lot of, he does a lot of word play. The not has, is for anything that is not. It's also got a, two people speaking, so some of your sentences are buried there. So as you can tell, Julie has to be very smart, have a good associative memory. She's built on that. She's taken that skill she learned when she was younger and built it so that now she knows all those links. She doesn't have to guess. And it's not built on just straight memory. But for the rest of us who don't always think that way, sometimes we think, oh, you know what? It took Julie and I a long time to figure out what that word was. It was one she doesn't use a lot. How can I find a word quickly if I know Julie's looking for it? And the answer is, you go to with Julie's permission, because you never jump in and touch it without her permission. Is it okay if I go in? Okay. So I'm gonna to go to activities, and I'm gonna to go to the device. And under the device is a purple icon that says, I'm gonna back up, because I see purple icon, and this is where I'm gonna find a word. So I was looking for grape. For some reason, I completely forgot where grape was. So I typed the word, and then I hit OK. And they say, oh, remember, Jan? It's the apple. Mm. Then it's the next page, and it's under, kind of questioning mm. that, but I'll still have a look. So if mm. I go to apple, mm. and I go to the next page, mm. they're saying I will find mm. it under flavors. Mm. I went, ah, I hit the wrong button. Flavors. Mm. And there, lo and behold, right. is grape. So grape is a flavor. And I actually thought it would be just a fruit. Now I suspect I could also go to apple mm. and go to fruit mm. and I would, oh you see, they, it's grapes. That's why they didn't give me that one. Mm. Because I just asked for one grape. Mm. So this one is grapes. Mm. So that little icon tutor again is under device, mm. purple button that says icon tutor. And then you can spell the word and hit OK, and it will tell you where that word can be found. Now, I wouldn't be doing this all the time, but sometimes you're wanting to build some activities or you feel like you and Julie spent a long time trying to figure something out. That's a place where I would jump in and say, can we figure out together where this is hiding? And would you be okay with that, Julie? Perfect. So the language is men speak. You can go online and get more information about MinSpeak. PRC website is on all of these handouts I've given you. They have training, they have little language lab learning handouts. We don't want to turn this into school for um, Julie, and we know you don't have time to do all those things. But if you yourself want more information on what Julie is using, it's totally okay to go and find it out. And then too, sometimes that's something you can talk to Julie about. 
is I noticed you're using this. The user area she's using is a 60 on MinSpeak. It'll differ a little from the ones you see on the site because they've updated the phone and updated a bunch of things. And we didn't do that to Julie because she's used to this system. Okay, and her system's provided by an organization called Kaya. And that's who I work for. And I'll make sure that Sam makes my information available. And if you're having some little problem solving and you feel like I could really do this if I just understood this, reach out. I'm happy to help by email or phone. Thanks.